I'm going to be answering a very last question, which is how to curl with a straightener. And curling with a straightener isn't really as hard as it seems. It just takes a little bit of practice. Um, the benefits of curling with a straightener, it helps you to have a bit more control over how your curls look so you can make them a bit tighter, a bit looser, um, you just have a lot more control. So I'm going to show you the technique on how to do it. So the technique that you want to do is sort of a rolling backwards. So when you're curling, you want to be moving quite quickly so that you don't burn the hair. Um, but you have to do it kind of slow enough that the curls actually hold. If you just like literally just run the curl through, like if you just go like this really, really quickly, it's not going to do anything. So you have to go somewhat slowly, but also quick enough that you're not burning the head. Yeah. Um, so first grab a little section. I'm going to grab at the top and just roll back at about like this speed. Go down the hem and we got a little curl. Pretty alright. So the angle in which you hold the straightener is going to affect how the curl curls. So if you hold it on a very straight angle like 90 degree angle like that it's going to be a lot curlier so grab a little strand and the smaller the smaller the strand the curly it's going to get as well so if i go a 90 degree angle and i literally just roll it over and back and we go down it's going to go very curly like that Whereas if you hold it on a downward angle like this way and you get a little bit of a larger strand of hair, so maybe like that much. So going on that downwards angle, rolling it back and down. It's going to be a bit looser. Uh, when you get a little bit better at curling, like get that motion of curling backwards down pat, you can start to go around like twice, which makes a really lovely curl. So I'll go on my 90 degree or downwards angle and go around and keep turning. And round again, and down. And I just really like the way the curls go when you do it like that. So yeah, you want to be working quickly, but not super, super slow. I do the rest of the piece. When I get to about here on the piece, I'll start to start doing my curls a bit lower down. So it's kind of like a downwards angle of how the curls fall. Just looks a little bit more like natural waves. So this time like I'll straighten over it and then I'll go down a bit more and then start my curl maybe like around there. Then we get this like nice kind of angle of the curls. Then when I get to where the part line is, I change directions that I'm curling. So all this side, so the right side of the head, I've been moving the curler around away from me so like backwards away from the face so now I'm going to switch directions and I'm going to go towards me um, away from the face still though so I'm get my strand of hair 
And so he was driving towards me. What is my body? So you can see that these two strands of hair go opposite ways to each other. So straighten over and towards me. I think that probably the trickiest part of curling is actually figuring out which way you're turning the straightener. So you want to be doing get yeah, towards when you are on the left side of the head and away when you're on the right. So yeah, like towards me and then away from me. Um, also a little tip is that, so I've just done this curl here and I don't really like the end of it. It looks a little bit iffy. So I just run the straightener over it again um, and just like fix up that curl. And that looks a little bit better to me. I uh, like to do the curls around the face a little bit higher up so it kind of like frames the face. All right, done, curl. Cool. So the last step is to just brush it out. So you can, I usually brush it out with a comb because it kind of keeps the curls still intact, but you can use a brush or whatever. Um, and I'll just brush out the curls a little bit. Now, if your curls are still too curly, you can just run the straightener over them just to like flatten them out a little bit. And there we go. All done. Um, you can also use a like a Davro or any heat, heat protectant like spray or cream um, and you can just put in some if it's feeling like a little bit dry after doing the curling you can put in um, like an oil or something like that um, yeah all done so that's how you curl with a straightener